lava. Well, that's a bit odd. Oh! Whoa! Where in blazes am I? Just surrounded by lava. How odd. Hello, Psycrypt here. We seem to be surrounded by endless lava in all directions. If I didn't know any better, I'd have to think we're in a volcano. <laughs> well, let's hope this volcano doesn't erupt. The important thing is we should understand what exactly we are doing. This is Volcano Block. Volcano Block is a Minecraft mod pack that is focused on skyblock concepts. We have only this amount of room to work and we follow down a quest path in order to reach our goal. Now, one of the important things that I like about skyblock type modded things is you don't have a lot to work with and you don't have a lot to think about. You really just gotta follow the quest and will learn things as you go. Instead of, you know, out in the world or something like RL Craft or Levitated. You kinda have to learn as you go and you have the entire world at your disposal. So following the quest path isn't quite linear. But what you can do here is follow this quite on because there's nothing else we can do and all we have is a knife. A knife! What happened to my beautiful, beautiful steel knife? It was a lovely knife. I enjoyed it so much. Why is it wooden now? Oh, let's see what the book says. So it begins. Stuck here with nothing but this book and this knife. Desperate times calls for desperate measures, I guess. Now, what's that organ called that you don't need again? Was it the appendix? What the pancreas? Now, if I wasn't mistaken, it's definitely referring that I need to cut out my own meat. Now, that would be kind of weird for me to do, taking a fact time out. <laughs> you know, I'm just oh, what? What is this? Where did that come from? I have no organs! This... How do I have flesh? Although, it's not the bad kind of flesh I've, uh, I thought, you know? Dang. I, uh, I taste. I taste, I taste pretty good. Well, let's get more of that. So, supposedly, I am able to, I guess, from this, right? Yeah. So I can apparently use my flesh that exists for some reason to make bone meal. I guess that's pretty interesting. One way or another, my flesh did become bone. Now, we have some actual meat. Where did it came from? We don't know. And we shouldn't question it either. Instead, we should focus on what's next. Making a hoe. A hoe? How the hell? Breaking grass, plants not blocked, will occasionally drop sticks. Interesting. So I'm assuming there's a new recipe? Ah! The recipe that only uses my internal crafting. That's cool. Now, I believe... Yes! Excavate is uh, a mod on here. So... That will make this process a whole lot easier because all I have to do is this, activate, and then we can break them all at the same time. Uh, I have noticed I am apparently getting sugarcane from the grass as well, so that, I guess that's pretty interesting. It's surprising I haven't got a single stick yet, though. Okay, uh, why am I not getting any sticks? Oh, we got some normie seeds. Well, I guess we're gonna have to 
cut out more uh, imaginary flesh. Perhaps uh, Excavate doesn't take into account something like stick drops. Oh, we got our sticks. Perfect. We now have a hoe. Meat patty. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. All right, next on the objectives, crop growth. All right, we can crouch to accelerate the growth. I mean, bones are used to make bone meal, which will make fertilizer. So I, it only is fitting that I can assist on growing crops simply by my presence. So we need more normie seeds, and we need to make this. Oh, which requires four normie seeds. All right, cool. Sounds interesting. All right, more normie seeds then. Wow, I, uh, I have horrible luck. I make some odd noises. There we go. I think once that task is complete, we can do this without freaking out. Oh, I get more bone meal, and I get a guide to unique crops. Interesting. Well, what kind of information can we acquire? So we got all from Normie down to Feroxia. Now I'm thinking by the name Feroxia, this probably produces iron. Pabalonia. I wonder what that does. Artesia. Ooh. Artesia do what I think it does. Well, let's plant it. What's our next goal, anyway? Baked potatoes. Oh, we need potatoes. Toss potatoes in love for a quick squib. Well, that's odd. Harvest said, whoa. So, this is how we get a crafting table. Kinda wanna put some flax seeds down, but... Oh, we need more normie seeds. Hold on. Alright, ooh! We do! We got a crafting table. Well then. Alright then. And there is a dedicated crafting station mod, so that helps. A drying basin. Why do we need a drying basin? Well, I, apparently I can make it with just sticks. That's cool. I need an oak bucket. And a hay bale. Oh, flax gives us strength. Alright, let's try this potato thing. Oh, it does cook it! Ain't that something? Alright, let's just put this wheat in here. Okay, uh, we already figured out how to make a grass block in this. How many sticks? We got 12 sticks. Actually, yeah, let's make all that stuff. And then I need the hay bale. Alright. For drying items and fluids. Drying fluids! I'm assuming a wooden bucket would be able to make a lava. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's charred. Put it back, put it back. Oh, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Yep. Ooh! Tombstone is in here! Oh! I, I appreciate the uh, realism with the bucket. I mean, the bucket's a bucket, right? It's not gonna... That's nothing disabilitated, it's just a different bucket now, right? Beetroot! <laughs> We're just gonna eat a variety of things. I mean, we happen to have the, uh, whatever mod this is that I mentioned about not... So uh, let's uh, let's just eat everything we come across, just for the sake of finding out. Oh, I forgot we got wheat seeds. There you go. We'll keep this one a flax, so that at least we have some variety. Yeah, you know, this ever so slightly build up string as we go. Put melon here, and we'll put pumpkin here. We now have enough wheat for a hay bale. Now we finish that. More bone meal. And I gotta make grass blocks. Alright, uh, I mean, 
put the drawing base down. Before I don't know what it does. Uh, I don't know why I need a hay bale. Can I? Am I drying the hay bale? What is happening? Ooh, drying hay might actually. Well, anyway, I'd prefer to actually break this back apart and make it into grass blocks. You know, I probably should have read ahead. It's a nice quick way to cook stuff. Well, I wonder, can we cook carrots? We can. Oh, but we turn into charcoal. Well, I mean, I still have its uses. Did I eat it? Yeah, I just realized I haven't eaten raw material. All right, I have eaten raw potato. All right, now let's get that hay in. I don't know why a drying basin would give us water, but all right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a form of storage. At, oops, a form of storage at some point. Hopefully, we'll be able to create wood itself or some form of material that will allow us to... Well, just looking at this, it looks like we're going to make a cobblestone chest. Cobblonia will emit cobblestone once it is full grown and has lava on one side and water on the other side of its dirt patch. Interesting. So, apparently, in order for cobblonia to work, I need water and lava on either side. Ooh. And I got a stick out of it. Well, that's nice. Oh, now that it's charred, it's technically not the bucket it's looking for. I mean, it's still a bucket. It works the same way. I guess we can start cropping some carrots. Uh, I guess I'll finish this row with some more normal seeds. Since they can also provide us wheat and goop definitely grow a lot faster than wheat seeds. I can definitely see this having a lot of potential behind it. I, I, I like, this feels quaint. I enjoy what we're doing here. I, I, I will definitely be doing streams on this, but I wanted to bring out a video first. There will most likely be, like, two videos. There'll be one right after this, but from that point on, there'll be streams. Basically, I won't be streaming until the second video has been uploaded, so... I'm sorry, are those normie seeds growing on grass? And here we go. Finally. Plant crafting. Grow normie crops. Grow normie crops. Oh, I just need to make our teeth useful. There. <laughs> We've collected so many. Cobble oh, Cobblonia seeds. Okay, so here's how we get some Cobblonia seeds. That's why I need a little branch like this. Refer to your unique crops guidebook entry on a cheesy plant if you are having trouble creating the seed. Oh, okay. So I have to create the seed, which probably requires the combination of things. What if it's a uh, Artesia with some Oh, interesting. Oh, that's nice. You can always make the guide using normie seeds, which are easy to acquire. That's good. Alright, let's not waste too much time. Let's get this couple of them. Hardy plants. They may look a little rocky, but they can prove to be quite useful in some circumstances. Once fully grown, you may have water on one side of the soil it is on, and lava on the opposite side for free cobble being given out at random. Alright, well that didn't really tell me how to make the seed. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Now I'm not too sure. Is there lava directly underneath? Oh crap! I'm changing the keybind. 
Well, that wasn't my intention whatsoever. I still have to figure out how I'm actually supposed to craft. It said referred to the guide for help. It doesn't help you. Pretty unique crowd sky good entry on Artesia on Artesia plants. That's right. These plants are pretty crafty. The next step you need to do in order to craft the other seeds is you'll need nine of them to three to five three square. We gotta be very careful. Oh, they actually stick. Well, that's not the right place. Oh, gotta just play. Okay, no. All right, they stay on top of it like a crafting resin. Oh, it knows its own recipe. Or, no, hold on. What, what, that's not what I'm trying to do. Oh, the middle crafting is always done last. <laughs> no, ain't that just peculiar. This is more and more interesting each time. Uh, I will say, <laughs> just look at that. Uh, that takes up a lot of space. I think I want to make sure that every time I harvest wheat, I'm getting enough grass block. So we're going to always have four. Alright, I think it's time we start maneuvering ourselves further out. Alright, so we do this, do that, grow it, and then I guess I do this? Obsidian! Yep, okay, so we have water here, and I guess if we have lava on the other side, do we have to break through this? I'm gonna just do that. Uh, I wanna put the lava right next to it. So. Ha, 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 ha. Skeletons burn, don't you know? Minecraft. Oh, that's gonna bother me so much. Holy crap! You occasionally do it, but if I crouch. I am. UNLIMITED COBBLESTONE! Oh, this is beautiful! This is absolutely... Holy crap! Okay, well, first step is I want to... Cover this up. Also, want to get this out of the way. And leave that open, because I want to cover this. This is perfect! Alright, then. Alright, let's uh, make all the stuff we need to make. This is perfect. Uh, we got three grass right now. I'm going to... ...do this. Followed by more cobblestone. Cobblestone is obviously going to be our biggest building material. Alright, and then we'll put this chest right here. And now we can finally store all the stuff. Alright, now, what does a stone wand do? Uh, I don't know how the wands work exactly, but I'm sure it's to make cobblestone building a lot easier. Oh! Oh, because this has stop blue. Fluid stop. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have to start going up. Which isn't a problem. That's actually pretty good, actually. That wasn't what I wanted. 
want to do. Alright, uh, what do we got for sticks? We got two sticks. We got two sticks. Hmm, it had just occurred to me I don't have any more sticks other than this. Alright, let's make our tools. Grass, grass, and now a pixelius shoot. Flax seeds can usually be found by breaking grass. Remember, if this crop isn't growing, make sure you have the level of plants. Oh, I need the carrot shark. That's good. And we have plenty of string. See, look at that. We preemptively prepared for this. Alright, let's grab an army seeds. So, we need more carrots. Right, then we need string. Oh. And boom! Mosaic hell! Alright. So we'll have to see what it does. Well, we've situated ourselves pretty well, I'd say. So, what's the difference between me just placing it? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, maybe if I shift? Ah! I can do it little by little. But I can do it all in one go. Oh, that, yeah, that does make building a little lot more easier. Alright. That's a good situated base, I'd say. Let's send this off with a nice decorative piece. setting up our base and we're moving on oh my what it's so it's, it's so like realistic graphics what what is that pixel debris let's meet the guy pixely pixely pixel plants Starting from the default 16x16 16 16 textures, these trucks will gradually get more and more high definition as they grow. Is that it? Is that all they do? They do. What? So, what do I need pixel debris for? Well then, I think we've situated ourselves quite nicely so far. And with that, this is a perfect place to end this. Thank you for joining me in this, uh, volcano. I'm sure I'll be stuck here for a while, so do please visit, but until then, I'll have to bid you adieu. Can I stop farting out some cobblestone? Goodbye.